Hey everybody, Joe with Bumble Acres here. I hope y'all are doing well. And uh, video today we're going to talk about homesteading and life and death. And, you know, life and death on the homestead and how it kind of affects you. Um, as you all know, last week we received our chicks. Uh, we had meat, birds, and egg layers that all came in. And as is the case, uh, one of our uh, meat birds, uh, meat chicks, did not make it. And it kind of brought back, there's a lot, to me it correlates with everything going on in society right now. Um, I do not want to make light of loss of life. I don't make light of loss of life with our animals. I don't make, loss of, make light of loss of life with humans. Um, but I also feel like part of the reason that society seems so upset and worried about this coronavirus is that people are suddenly confronted with their own mortality. And suddenly having to deal with asking yourself some life or death questions. And there's this idea that death is a foreign thing. That death is not natural. Where if you work with, there's a saying, if you work with livestock, you will work with dead stock. That livestock begets, you know, and this isn't just, you know, we raise animals and we butcher animals. We're taught, that's, there's a normal routine to life. Uh, there's also just the level that not everything that lives, lives long. And sometimes things do die. And our role as a part of society is to um, have, find balance and create a balanced force within that. And I think we have a responsibility. And I think homesteaders, we have a more practical understanding of life and death. And it helps us prepare with situations like we're in. I mean, the obvious benefits of homesteading right now are, you know, our gardens in the ground. Uh, we'll be producing, you know, we, pr we eat a lot of our own food. Uh, so we are independent of this supply chain issue that people are having. And I think that changes and makes a big difference. But part of it is the mentality and the understanding that, you know, that we are a part of the circle of life. We are a part of the cycle that is life and death. And we navigate that every day with our choices. And in a world that doesn't think death is natural, the coronavirus is scaring them mortally. Um, where we as homesteaders understand that, that death is a part of life. Um, and it's one reason why I think homesteading has a spiritual pork, kind of a connection with it, is because of this understanding of life and death. Um, this is not something that generally you interact with on a normal day-to-day -day basis, but in homesteading you do Because you interact with life all day long and you have to wrestle with death You know one of our chicks dies. It's in our maggot bucket producing maggots to feed the actual rest of the chicks um, So it serves a purpose same as our life and death will serve a purpose and the animals we raise their life and death serves a purpose So it's my thoughts. Um, I hope you all are doing well. I hope this message finds you happy and healthy uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, updates, any inputs you want to give, feel free to leave them in the comments, and uh, have a great, wonderful day.